Hey guys, what's up? Majestic Gaming here, and today we're gonna be ranking the Halo games. Yeah, Fun. so not all the Halo games. We're gonna be. Oh uh, yeah, only eight all, of them. We're gonna be ranking all the number games: ODST, Reach, and the Master Chief Collection. So pretty much just not Combat Evolved Anniversary, Spartan Assault, Spartan Strike, and Wars. And soon to be Wars Two. Oh yeah. Um, but we're. We made a list like this a while ago. Um, before Halo 4 came out, before Master Chief, or before before Halo, uh, before Halo 5 came out, before Master Chief Collection came out, we made a list. But now we're redoing this list because Halo 5 is out. And um, yeah, so our number eight spot is gonna go to Halo 3 ODST. Yeah, good. Which was a cool game. I liked it. Um, um, and just before anyone says anything, this is purely on opinion. And it's, um... Yeah, it's our personal picks. If you don't like them, then put your list in the comments below. And, and uh, uh... See if we like it. But hopefully you'll agree with some of these, because... Yeah, and also, it's not saying that Halo 3 ODST was a bad game, or anything up, uh, up on the list, or... Down on the list was a bad game. Because just the other games were more They're playable, more games. fun. Yeah. Okay, Halo's so... Halo's pretty solid. Um, so... Halo 3 ODST was, uh... I liked it. It was like a free roamish. Um, it was set at night most of the time, where you could yeah. like, kill stuff. And, and it had that healthy. Destiny Easter egg. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure that's what like everyone loves about ODST. Yeah, um, really but it had a it had that yeah Destiny it had a Easter egg. <laughs> it had a good story and a cool firefight mode co-op, and uh, it was a great game overall. It was just different and like you and you weren't a Spartan obviously. You and were just an ODST who just who just tried to get home. And yeah, find so, his friends. Yeah, and he just—it it, it was cool. There were like cool characters, and it was—it was just different and, and uh, uh, cool soundtrack, firefight. Yeah, yeah, and it's a uh, Buck. Yeah, Buck. He's Buck. in Halo Five. Really? Wow. Spartan Buck. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just a really cool game, and uh, you should definitely get the game if you have a Chief Collection. You should get the add-on, and if you don't, then you should just get it on Xbox 360 because it's really cheap. And it's worth it. Yeah. So moving on to our number seven spot is Halo. The Master Chief the Master Collection. Chief Collect you gotta see you gotta see the Halo before. Come on. Halo, the Master Chief Collection. And uh this yeah. is, this came out last year and it it, it uh, included uh, all four campaigns. I, I was a little disappointed when I heard of it because it's like, wow, not a new Halo game, oh, just all of them. But it ended up being pretty cool. And that was at the that was at the point when we were all hyped for Halo Xbox One. Yeah. And we we're like, well, this isn't this is uh this the same thing. They didn't have a title. They just like boom, Halo on the Xbox One. Anyways, yeah. Master Chief Collection had pretty all accurate. Four campaigns plus like we said the ODST add-on. They they were all remastered, 60 FPS, all the collectibles. And uh, the all, new there, uh, there were tons of achievements. Um, uh, par times six thousand gamer par, score. Yeah, par times and par scores for each of them. Collectibles in each of them. It was great. And, and uh, it also added in Halo Two Anniversary, which was cool because yeah. they gave us first off they gave us assault rifles, which is I don't understand why they ever took those out in the first place. They gave us assault rifles and they gave us um, a forge mode, which had tons of options. Yeah, the and forge was awesome. Scripting, being able to like make doors open and close. Also, being able, I liked the changing colors, so you could make yourself like a rainbow Spartan. Yeah. In game, you could just like walk through trait zones and be like, dee, doi, dee, doi. <laughs> and, and the uh, uh, the cut the campaign of Halo 2 Anniversary, it pretty much looked like or not I would say it the same. The cutscenes. Cut oh, yeah, the cut. Oh. Those cutscenes were like really, really great. They looked so cool. Um, the campaign itself, there were lots of cool missions in Halo 2, which we'll get to when we get to Halo 2, but. Master Chief Collection by itself, uh, there were some cool custom games, there were cool custom game options, like we said, Forge, and then there was competitive multiplayer, which was broken on day of launch, and still kind of broken today. So, it, we're not, we're gonna say that that's a little bit of a drag down, but you gotta big, get used to it, and you're kind like... Kind of, but we still, like, today don't get in matches, pretty much, when we try to join stuff, and it's really sad, so we're just like, oh, screw this, we're gonna go play some custom games. Yeah, but custom games are, like... Um, they're, they're that's really fun. part of the way we judge these games is like, because we love custom games. Halo is the social experience. And that's probably a reason why the next game is here. So but, number six is Halo Four for the Xbox 360. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean Halo Four was great. Like I, I mean, like, my 
my like 11 year old self thought the multiplayer was amazing i mean the multiplayer was good it, it just was, was it fun, just was it just wasn't skillless. that challenging well, it no, was it wasn't it's like it, was, it wasn't skill it's like required like skill. some skill it just was like it just wasn't very challenging yeah it but was it was still fun yeah and uh i like it was it was always great getting like a uh, beam rifle and just completely shrekking yeah, or playing uh, some. Were kind of weird, but I mean, I didn't hate them. I didn't love them. They're just like. Yeah, oh. or playing some Spartan Ops. Spartan Ops was, like, was great. Whole new story. It and wasn't could... as good as Firefight, but you know, it was like still like some, something new. And, and uh, the story. Yeah. The the campaign was subpar, but like I mean, at least it was it wasn't boring. It was like yeah. good. And uh, by the way, this will not include spoilers for Halo Five, but spoilers for all the other Halo games, because yeah. you know, you, it's it, come on, it's been yeah. three years. Uh, and it kind of uh, sucked that um there wasn't a boss fight in halo 5 and halo 4 yeah but halo 5 overdid the boss fights so. yeah just a bit um but, <laughs> but like there was you, instead of fighting like 343 three, how you didn't uh you don't yeah you don't fight the didact you like yeah you should have yeah you literally it goes to a cutscene and you hit a button yeah there were no which was kind of done which was kind of disappointing but the missions were pretty good reclaimer that was fun um, and different, because, you know, the mammoth. And, uh, yeah, the, well, like I said, the customization. And, I'd say my Reclaimer was the best mission in Halo 4. Yeah, and also the ranking system was kind of weird, because it was all time-based. But here's, but as I said before, the best part about it was the custom games and Forge. Like, there, I mean, there was stuff to do, and you could have fun with your... Lots of custom game settings. With loadouts and, like, stuff like that, which was a kind of a mistake on their part. To throw in loadouts on it's multiplayer. Like up what Halo, but I, yeah, keep loadouts and custom games, but not multiplayer. Something yeah. that no game has done. So come on, guys. Just yeah, seriously. Up. But Halo Four, the uh, obviously like the the story was like pretty like I guess mediocre. It wasn't amazing, but the good thing no, not the good thing, but the thing that they did was like obviously they killed Cortana at the end, so that's good, or not good, <laughs> but it was like kind of surprising. You're like, wow, they, did they just do that? And you're just like, huh? Like, yeah, but for some like, people, people who them. people who weren't liking the campaign, like that just made them angry that they yeah, would I, do I that. Yeah, I was like, oh man, you know. Get um, but deals. yeah. So, anyways, moving on to yeah. our number five spot. Number five is Halo Combat Evolved, which is the first installment of the franchise. It came out in 2001, and it was a uh, on the, title or, with, on the uh, original Shrek. Xbox. Oh my, oh my god! I gotta mention every time. And, uh, yeah, but, yeah, obviously, the Xbox One and 360 wouldn't be yeah. here without it. So, whenever... It matters. <laughs> it matters. I feel like whenever we bring up Halo CE, that's all you have to say, is that it was a launch title with Shrek. Yeah. I mean, seriously, like... Shrek forever after? Like, like, like oh, I'm not gonna buy the Xbox for a Halo. I mean, Shrek. I wonder if there's someone who... Uh, okay, I bet there the was. The good news is that they, like, got that game out the same year the movie came out. Yeah. Uh, go them. Go them. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, anyways, so anyway. so obviously, it was super revolutionary, and it pretty much perfected the console shooter, because everyone up to that point was like, oh yeah, PC shooters, and Xbox is like, look what we can do. Boom, headshot. Yeah, and the uh, lay or the map, des or sorry, the campaign design, like the level designs were really good. Um, the Maw, that's a fun mission. Yeah, it is. It's unique. Uh, and silent along with the fact that they, they put in vehicles in there, yeah, which, which was, was kind of new, kind like of I guess. Different, yeah. But even though so, in the first build, like it was, was it first person? No, the, it was a RTS for Apple. Okay. Yeah, and then yeah, like I I don't know the specifics, but like Microsoft like bought Bungie and Steve Jobs, he like showed it off at E3 like 2000. It was it was something. Steve Jobs. Yeah. He's like introducing Halo, and it was. Look, look up on your free time, E3 2000. Or it was, it was why why was Steve Jobs at E3? I'm confused. Because, it, anyways, you, you can look this up for yourself. We'll talk about this later. He's like, um, I'm now introducing Halo. Next up, the iPod. Um, But yeah, custom games were like super fun. And Blood Gulch, obviously amazing map. And just all the missions were really good. Halo, fun mission. Even though you get lost. I got yeah. lost. <laughs> okay. And well, it's super fun. Like, me, if you like, get Halo like CE Anniversary, like, which is just that with better graphics. It's, but with no multiplayer. It's, it's well, didn't they take down the servers anyways? I. Uh, who cares? <laughs> okay. Well. It's fam Next up is in our number four spot is Halo Five Guardians. Yeah, this is the newest game. It's it's um. 
it's different yeah, and it's, it's disappointing it's a that you, player because you only actually so yeah you only actually get to play as master chief three times for three missions which was kind of a bummer but i'd say no, the story it was, was it was a lot of a bummer it wasn't a little bit it was like super depressed well a few of the missions were like really short yeah, but anyways more, yeah so we'll get to the campaign in a second but the multiplayer there's warzone now oh so. my the multiplayer i like i like it a lot i like it's, it the arena is we did a multiplayer review if you want more thoughts on that but the multiplayer it's just it's i like arena how they have like the traditional ranking system kind of um they have the intro cutscenes which are new yeah and they took out loadouts they kind of made the ranking system better yeah. now there are playlist ranks which yeah, is spartan abilities cool. that, but the the customization we, I've kind of looked past the armor thing. Yeah, I mean, just forget Halo Reach's amazing, like, customization where, where we are now. That's and armor customization. Now we have, like, the cool... I like the like assassination thing. Yeah, there are cool things, but along with that, there's the rec system, which, uh... It, oh, wait, I know you're salty about that, but I like the rec system. I, I like do it not like zone. that there are microtransactions. Also, I don't like that you get armor assassinations and permanent stuff. Like, why give us permanent stuff in rec packs? We should just have to work to get the permanent stuff. And we talked about this in our other video. We did, exactly. So, um, I, rec yeah, but... system needs some adjustment, but I feel like it's, like, it doesn't, like... I feel like I hope I hope to see okay. Warzone back in Halo 6. I, I do, too. But Halo 5 is kind of lacking on things to do, because there's no big Forge. team battle at the time of us making this. Forge doesn't come out till December. Um... Yeah, but it, it will get better as it progresses, as like as Master Chief kind of collection kind of did. Kind so anyway, anyways, still we broken, but it uh the, the camp. Let's talk about the campaign. Just you, I know you haven't finished it yet, but so like I've, no spoilers. Yeah, um, I um I've come very close, but yeah, but the the camp, the people that you see in it, like there's a, obviously you can play as both teams. And Locke's team is Lock was kind of I mean he was just there. He there was they didn't really do anything with him specifically. He's just like. We'll stand down the, one seven. the cutscenes are pretty cool, but um, cool. the one thing I hate about playing with like four or playing alone, you're playing with three retarded AI. Yeah, the AI have got some problems. On legendary, you can't win. Like if you go down, then it's the end. Unless yeah. there's one someone standing. They don't get to cover. They stand in the middle like they stand right in front of one of the bosses, Warden Eternal. They stand right in front of his sword just to revive you. They don't yeah. stop at anything the, to come yeah. and get you the second you call. It's dumb. A lot, a lot of the missions were cool. We're, we're doing like a ranking where we rank the missions of the game. But the like first time you see that like ward and eternal boss fight, you're like, boss, that's cool. Second time, you're like, okay. And then it goes on like six times. Like they have that boss fight like six times. Yeah. And it's getting really irritating. You're like, come on, like make something new. Don't just... Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a but, little disappointing. But, but it's, it was a fun game. It's a it, fun game. Yeah. And I just... It's, it's something... But yeah, but our, our number three spot, I really like, and that is Halo 2. So Halo 2 is came out in 2004, was it? Yeah. I yeah, 2004. Um, and uh, it 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 had like the replayability was really high. It was really fun. But plays the Arbiter. That was different. Um, that was like cool. The whole story with the uh, Sangale. Uh, and yeah, with the elites yeah. uh, and the prophets and the brutes and their whole schismy thing, that was great. What the, they got going on? All the levels were great. Delta Halo and uh, yeah. Metropolis when you're on the bridge. And dual wielding. Yeah, it had dual wielding. It had um, SMGs. You could use energy swords. Um, it's it's the it best added selling, on to Halo. It's the best selling Xbox game ever. So there you go. And that's good for them. It, yeah, show you Microsoft. You, yeah. like you need more money. Um, and, uh, they're, they're pretty much, it has, like, everything about it was great, it, like, the missions, the only thing that, like, was kind of criticized about it was it's, like, out of nowhere ending, because the game was never finished. I mean, Um, it, yeah. it was supposed to have one more mission, and you can tell, because he's, like, finishing this fight, and then just goes to the credits, so you're like, what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wait three years, <laughs> but whatever. Um, I, that wasn't a problem for us, because we, did, we, we didn't play, like, Halo Live then, so we just kind of played it, but we can understand, like, if we were, like, playing it then we would have been like what okay it's kind of like hey, well never mind but it's, it's kind of like halo 5 is ending but you know, whatever <sighs> okay. try not to spoil things okay anyways halo 5 is ending it's like a little disappointing yeah but next up is um the runner up 
is Halo Reach this and our number two spot. This was a tough decision for what's like. All of this was a tough two. decision. These yeah. all of these games are on like the same level, this but is, they're just things that make them a this teensy is bit better. Probably than like two. personally, we just like our favorite one, but we know like the first one's like a better one. Yeah. This is the one that like we had. You know, everyone's got that Halo game that like they played custom games with like all the time. And, and they just and like played. This, this was this our was game for us. Yeah. This was our game. I think it was like two summers that we spent playing this game only. It was like. Yeah, the so story fun. It was awesome. It was the the thing that I've heard is from people that like like that read the Fall of Reach book. I like I read the Fall of Reach book, and I was like, okay, I don't care that it's like different than the book, but apparently a lot of people are upset about that. Yeah, like it doesn't follow this like the the timeline. I'm like, so. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, I mean the multiplayer of this game was fun. They had jetpacks. They just added them yeah, abilities, abilities and crap. New and up. The, it, was, uh, it was depressing, which I think was kind of cool for Halo games. Which I'm still depressed. Up to that point, it had been like pretty like happy. Uh, like, oh, except for Halo winning. 3 ODST. Yeah, except for all they were like, oh wow, Master Chief is winning. This one's like, oh, die, 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 die. Indeed. <laughs> um, but the only complaint I, I guess I have from this game is the fact that they never like, um, in campaign, like I wish there had been a way for you to like. I don't know, get like some ran some ma achievement for surviving like 30 minutes on Legendary. In Lone Wolf, you mean? Yeah. Ah, uh, but yeah, that's that's another thing. Lone Wolf is a really good mission. Um, like there's so many good missions, like the Long Night of Soul. It was it was Fall. a good game. It was, like, it was probably the Xbox's Xbox 360's like best one of their like best Halo games. Yet it's except not for the first our next batch spot. of backwards compatibility. Yeah, screw that. Keep screwing up. Yeah, but, but it had firefight. I mean, come on. It was the first good forge. Well, the Halo 3s was all right. Looking yeah. back on it, it's like awful. Like the rotations all screwed up. But yeah, it had forge world. Custom games were like amazing. The maps were amazing. I loved the graphics. I don't know what about it. Yeah, I know. It looks. It's a little like military yes, but like sci-fi. It's like so weird. It's weird how it's like. I don't know. It's just I, something so about great. the graphics are better the than Halo 4. Yeah, I know. The customization is like insane. You can customize like the gauntlet, the little your like tactical package thing on the side. Your yeah, size. and if you want to see like 11 year old version of ourselves do a top 10 Halo Reach helmets, feel free to go watch it. Yeah, we we're, we're doing we'll do one with Halo 5, um, but it was like great. Uh, I've heard armor abilities were you know kind of like, did we like him? Do we not like him? Is it classic Halo? Um, but what I mean, I we liked I I like liked them, but they were yeah. cool. I can understand like why if people didn't like them. And the story, like, you got to, like, see how the Halo universe got set up, and it was really cool. Like, there weren't any, like, Spartan 2s, though. Blue team. And, I mean, I liked Revenants. Cool. Those were cool. Yeah, that... Revenants. I don't know how I came up with that idea. Falcons. Like, a ghost and a wraith, and boom, baby. It's Revenants. Well, I mean, they had that thing. What's that thing called in Halo 2? The Spectre. Spectre, yeah. Um. Spectre. But, um. <laughs> And then they, uh, they had their they had their um there was oh uh, a uh one appearance freaking UNSC flying vehicle yeah there was the uh Falcon there was the there's someone like New Alexandria Exodus there was like every mission in that game is like iconic and like memorable and it had the MOA those ostrich <laughs> that you shot <laughs> that, 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 you, that you emptied around on even though like there's <laughs> you covenant could shooting at you forklifts and trucks so like yeah and like, they feel like they, it like, was always a fun time watching Cat like kill herself like Bungie, over and like, over. Actually, not that they didn't kill on the other ones, but it felt like since they're like it's like a person about to kill themselves, they're like let's make a game before we kill ourselves and go hey, to Destiny. Yeah, you know what's but funny? All of their crap DLC. Yeah, screw, screw that. that. Um, well, actually, the deals just shut up. Okay. Um, in Halo Reach, the AI like Cat, like all the people. They're better than like almost Halo Fives because. I don't know. Like yeah, I mean, even though, I as I said before, Cat like would kill herself on the mongoose What's like that every mission? time. The the one where like you like get the grenade launcher at the beginning with Cat. I don't. Remember I don't know. I don't remember. But that anyways, like all of them died in epic ways except for Cat. Like George's death was cool <laughs> and harder. A meal. Okay, so anyways, uh, our our number one spot, if it isn't already obvious, Halo Three. Halo Three. There's the fight. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Halo Reach's soundtrack's really depressing, but good. So, yeah, but okay, so anyways, Halo 3. Wow. Oh my god. The campaign of this game was amazing. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Um, 
I, I like the campaign. The multiplayer was really fun. They, I think they nailed the multiplayer in that yeah, game. Yeah, the graphics were uh, really good for. I mean, well, they, they, they weren't like amazing for 2007, but. Yeah, they were. Not that you know, good. You know, yeah, well, Assassin's Creed One was made that same year, and look at its graphics. They're not that much different. They're like they're kind of like the same style of graphics. Anyways, Serge Johnson's like face a couple of times is. Really yeah, cool. that, I mean, like, oh. some of the face, human faces, but the yeah. armor and like yeah, the multiplayer every, map. Besides the human faces, everything looks great. Yeah, um, the only other complaint, uh, the only actual complaint I had about this game was the fact that like when the uh, um, whatever those things are called, the power up things that you picked up that yeah. were replaced by yeah. Spartan abilities, those were like half of them were really useless. Yeah. Oh. Like I don't even understand why they bothered adding them into the game. The, the campaign, the missions were like great. They were iconic. Um, the Warthog run. At the it end. introduced Forge. Yeah. So and it may not have done it the best the first time, but you know what? They got it started. So. They had all those cool uh, maps like Sandpit. Is that it's what it's called? Sand Trap, I think. Sand Trap. Sand Trap. Um, Sand Shrew. Okay. Sand Trap. Um, and I can't remember the snowy oh, map. Oh, it... oh, wait. Avalanche. It's Avalanche it's been and then so, Valhalla. Was, yeah, it's been so long since I played that game. But, um, Valhalla was really fun. It's great. Um, and... but, yeah, they had the, uh, Hornet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but we, we really like that game. The... Yeah, so it introduced Forge. It, unfortunately. The, uh, the fact oh. that they had, like, Duel with Unforged. <laughs> yeah, well, they had, yeah, they had Duel with Unforged. They had custom games. Um, and it was it's... just, it was great. The missions, the story was pretty, it's pretty... great. Uh, Miranda Keys dies. Pretty much everything you could have asked Johnson for. Johnson dies. Guilty Spark dies. Uh, Prophet of Truth dies. Uh, hey, Halo armor in this game was great. really cool. It was cool. Look, it was the first time you could like really customize your Spartan. Then Halo Reach took it like the next, took it to the next level. And no, they didn't take it to the next level. They took it to the next like, like I don't even really know. Like, like the next like, like planet, yeah. solar system. Yeah. But it was really Halo fun. Halo Reach was like so great. Like yeah, we Halo really Reach. liked we we really liked Halo Reach, but yeah, Halo, Halo I, I liked Halo Reach I liked Halo three a little bit more. I Played Halo that. Reach a little bit more. But uh anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you wanna see uh some other videos relating to Halo, well we got a butt ton of them, so Yeah, we we have a whole we have a whole playlist of them. You should go check it out by looking at our channel and viewing and looking at the videos that we make starting from like a year ago. You don't need to look at stuff before that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, we mistakes were made. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Some people say when they like get a person pregnant, they're like mistakes were made. Majestic gaming. Goodbye. <laughs>